Today we want to talk about Pulse Quantum Security for Blockchain. If you don't know our project, we are a provably quantum secure blockchain that's been running our own chain for over six years now. We're a layer one, we are not an ERC-20, we have our own chain. Online I've been seeing a lot of chatter about different projects that claim Pulse Quantum Security. So right now I'm going to give you a checklist of five easy things to look at to tell you if this is a legitimate Pulse Quantum Secure project. Number one. Is there blockchain quantum secure from Genesis? You need to be quantum secure since Genesis because things like the public key that get written to the blockchain because of blockchain's immutability or end up in the mempool, in Bitcoin's case, the public key gets scattered everywhere. Public keys are a form of asymmetric encryption, which is susceptible to a sufficiently powerful quantum computer running on Shor's algorithm. Number two, does the project have an actual chain? Is there an actual chain? That's not Ethereum. I think that goes without saying. Number three, is the DSA, the digital signature algorithm, is that based on something that's NAST or government recommended or approved or some governing body saying that this is a tried and true tested post quantum secure algorithm? Uh, PQ, uh, pulse quantum cryptography is an evolving field that changes quickly, so you have to be using a digital signature algorithm that is recognized by industry experts. Number four, if you are an ERC-20, you are not quantum secure. Again, if you are an ERC-20, you are not pulse quantum secure. Even if you take a NFT and wrap it around something quantum secure and you write it to Ethereum's blockchain, at the end of the day, there's still a wallet there that needs gas in order to do something. So if a sufficiently powerful quantum computer steals all your gas money, empties the wallet, you have that pulse quantum secure assets that might be sitting there, that can't do anything. If you go to Ethereum's roadmap online, you'll see that in the future, they intend to go pulse quantum secure. Uh, however, this is something extremely difficult to do. So you really need your own blockchain. Number five, is your code audited? Trust is not something that is given freely in the crypto sphere and legitimate cryptographers are going to want to see independent results. There you go. Five steps. Is your blockchain or is the blockchain I'm looking at Pulse Quantum secure?